here uh, in Derek Goh's private domain. He so graciously allowed me to film some of his uh, wonderful shamas and of course his place here where he keep all his uh, beautiful birds. So bear with me today while I take some of his uh, pictures. Hi guys, uh, I'm very happy that uh, songbirdhobbies.com uh, actually came down to my place to feature some of the birds that I have been keeping uh, especially the Sharma alright uh, basically we are not here to show off we are not here to anything but to share with all the hobbies that you know how crazy we can go, go with all these hobbies we are keeping uh, what you see here in my garden is uh, the so-called Lalong the cages where I keep some of my Sharma uh, basically why I built all this Lalong is for those breeding birds uh, basically with outdoors and bigger space right they tends to breed nicer and you know grow better more exercise more out outdoor deal and definitely with more bathing and food so come with give him some tickets see they are they are they are just like a pet now they know feeding times you know they are ready you see they are not even afraid so it's very nice Enough so, not too many. So, later another one gift. The pink inch gift. So it's much more easier for me to maintain. You see, they know where, where to grab their foods and they are so happy outdoor. And the most beautiful thing about this Sharma is that, you know, uh, in the morning, right, when you see the first light, you know, about 6 o'clock. 6.15, 6.20 in the morning, you can hear all the Sharma singing with all the birds flying around and then uh, when you're here, right, you're so relaxed and uh, and uh, I really thank them for singing for me every day. Alright, there's a few here. Whether they are short tail, long tail, whichever, I, I love all of them because individually they got character. And then for the upkeeping, I think it's all individual hobby style. Uh. The most important to me, I think that is allowing the bird to get you get used to the way you keep them and then definitely the form will come all right so this is one of the longest one i have uh it's about 13 odd inch i came in here uh he, he i think he get along with human very well why not huh so i'm giving some tickets so this is so now well, you do all the feeding in the morning and in the evening for me You see the bird? <laughs> they are ready for their meal. Okay, go. Interesting, right? Cute, right? If you got you got those very long tail shama, right? It will be nice to have some la long. Uh, personally, I I I noticed that. Uh, they get stronger and the tail grow nicer and everything in the lalong which is bigger space all right later we'll feature some of the cages one that i have so, okay this is part two okay and the most enjoyable part about keeping shama is when you bring them up to chai so today at my house at my place your chai individually here so i mean let's go ahead so open open
and this is the last part. Alright, and uh, I hope I'm not the only one that come out and share the joy of Sharma keeping. Basically, I believe everybody is not out to show off, but to, sh to, to spread the joy of Sharma keeping. And definitely, I hope to see more of you guys at www.songbirdhobbies.com Thanks! We'd like to thank sincerely to Derek Go for allowing us to come and video his hobby. His wonderful collection of beautiful shamas. I, for one, is very motivated with his passion for this hobby. As you can see, I do have a shama here, and uh, I named him Secret Agent. Secret Agent has been with me for one year, three months, and he has not come to form yet. And uh, as you can see from Derrico's video, where he mentioned that uh, the bird has to come used to your husbandry, your consistency in keeping the bird and then the form will come. Well, hopefully that will come for me and I'm passionately, uh, consistently taking care of uh, Secret Agent. And for you, uh, fellow songbird hobbies, if you have a video camera, any uh, gadget that you have, you can video your hobby and share it here in the forum. And uh, if you can't, then uh, you can always PM me and I'll come down and video your songbirds. For that, I'd like to thank again for all those who are watching this video, songbirdhobbies.com. Thank you.